this video we're looking at a topic of acceleration. We can start, shall we? So acceleration, we can define this as the rate at which an object increases speed or velocity. And we can look at the equation for this. The equation tells us acceleration is the change in velocity divided by time taken. And let's just make that a bit simpler to understand. We can write down here that a equals v minus u divided by t. Let's explain what these mean. A obviously, this one here refers to acceleration. Okay, so A is acceleration. Now V, this one here, V is the final velocity. We'll look at an example of this in just a moment. So V is the final velocity. U is the initial velocity. It's what it's starting out as, okay? So U is initial velocity and T obviously is time. So in our equation there, we've got acceleration is the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by time. Now velocity is measured, as you know, in meters per second. Time measured, obviously, in seconds. Acceleration is meters per second per second. And that's written as meters per second squared. You may see it written in some books as meter dot s to minus 2. Okay? So acceleration is measured in meters per second squared. Let's look at an example. So here we've got, uh, we've got a couple of drag cars here. Now, a drag car increases velocity from 0 to 60 meters per second in 3 seconds. So, what is the acceleration? Acceleration equals, as you know, the, the final velocity, V, minus initial velocity, U, divided by T. Now, we know that uh, the final velocity we're told here is 60. So, put 60 in there. Minus the initial velocity, we're told here, it was 0. Okay, starting from standing to start, so as you put a zero in there, and we're also told that time is three, so put three there. So we now know acceleration is 60 minus zero, which as you know is 60, divided by time, which is three. So the answer looking at there is 20 meters per second squared. So that's how we do a simple acceleration calculation. Let's just check and recap what we know then. So. We know that acceleration is a rate at which velocity is changing. We know that. We've got a tick. We know acceleration is measured in meters per second, or m slash s2. We know that. Now, when an object slows down, we call that negative acceleration. Okay. Oh, that should be in the line, shouldn't it? Not cross through. Or we call deceleration. So it is deceleration when it's slowing down, i.e. negative, let's underline it rather than cross it out, shall we? Negative acceleration, we know that. Now the net overall force is zero, acceleration is zero. This means that the force going in one direction is equal to the other. The force driving the car in one direction is equal to all the factors like resistance and friction in the opposite direction. When those two are equal, there's no acceleration or deceleration, the overall force is zero, acceleration zero. Understand that? Let's put a tick. Okay, so there we are. We've now gone through acceleration. I hope you understand it. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening and goodbye for now.